So I'm here to talk to you about KTEC's new low-cost product line called Iro. Now while these products are aimed at the sound mixer just starting out, or the YouTuber, I'm going to be examining them from the perspective of a professional sound mixer. So the first product we're going to be examining is the mixer bag. It's clearly meant to house the sound device's mix pre-series, but you could possibly fit either a Zoom F4 or even an F8 inside. On the front are mounting straps, which are clearly designed for the belt clips on the Sennheiser G2, G3, or even now the new G4 series. On the edges are sets of two or two zippers on either side so that you can feed the cables through because the only thing that can fit inside the bag would be the mixer and perhaps at the bottom a battery. In terms of build quality, it does hold its shape well enough to stand up on end when placed on a flat surface, but that's about it. It's a pretty minimalist design, but that could be an asset depending on the application. Moving along, next we have the shock mount. Now it's made of plastic and has a universal rubber interior which could fit most microphones as long as they're not too girthy. Along the side, there is a swivel tightening joint which we've seen on a lot of other shock mounts before. Overall, a pretty competent mount. The next thing I'll be talking about is the boom pole holder, which I've been particularly excited about because I feel that it's a step up in quality from other offerings in the same size range. The design of this unit is curved, and on the inside is some padding to prevent any scuffs or scratches, which I like a lot. This is a piece that as a professional sound mixer, I absolutely want to add to my kit. The next product I'm only going to briefly touch upon because it's pretty straightforward. It's an XLR cable, and it's similar to what you might see from the Hosa product line, but it seems like it has a more robust build quality but otherwise it's a simple and effective XLR cable. So next we have the boom pole. Now, as you can see here, I have two mounting plates attached to the top because I wanted to demonstrate what I'm planning to use this pole for. But just to examine it briefly, it's a simple light pole with good padding on the end, uncabled in the center, and extends up to, I believe, 10 feet. Now I have these two mounting plates up here because my plan is to use it as an antenna mast for my ore cart and I want to mount two electro dipole antennas to the top. This just goes to show how there are many uses for tools that might be beyond what they were originally intended for. And finally, we come to the storage bag, which is designed to hold the boom pole, the mixer bag, and all the accessories. It has some light but soft padding on the inside and really if you're in a run and gun situation with a mix pre light kit this is actually a great little bag so head on out and take a look at this gear for yourself even for the professional sound mixer this gear can still have great applications be sure to visit thewavereport.com for all of your guides tutorials and info about anything sound